Grace, how big? She was King of the Web when King of the Web was a thing, a YouTube superstar, an author of not one, but two books, nonfiction books. And just for fun, she had her own eponymous TV show. You know what eponymous is? Look it up. She exudes so much raw power, I refuse to look her in the eyes. But you know who can look her in the eyes? You can on today's episode of Famous Food Truck. Grace has been dodging my calls lately, but she's down at Angel City Brewery. We're gonna go down there and catch her and get her cooking up in the truck. Okay, show me the food truck. Yes. You're gonna love it, by the way. Okay. My face is on it. It's really cool. Can't wait. Right? Yeah, wow. You look like a sad hipster Gandalf in that photo. I take that as a compliment. So welcome to the food truck. Thank you for having me. It's clean, eh? Surprisingly clean. So what are we doing today? I'm gonna show you how to make hella big chicken and waffles. But it's gonna be more refined ish than regular chicken and waffles because we're gonna do this carrot and apple slaw on top and it's gonna be delicious and fresh. Do you know how badly I need refinement in my life? <laughs> you're telling me. You're basically just tricking your body into thinking that you're eating something healthy. We're gonna start with the slaw. So first things first, we're gonna chop up some of this apple and then we're gonna grate up some of this carrot. So I have a question. How did you start doing YouTube? I was in New York doing improv comedy and auditioning, not booking anything. And so then started with my roommate in Brooklyn making little videos because no one told us that we couldn't. Then got hired by a website to make this series called Daily Grace. And I got to quit my job of waiting tables. And now I'm back in a kitchen with food. So it all comes full circle. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of cooking, here's how we're going to do this slaw, right? We got our carrots and our apples. Now we're going to add dried cranberries. How do you say this? Pecans. I say pecan. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> I was waiting for the Canadian to yeah. come out. OK, we're adding pecans, dried cranberries, and then some brown sugar. Do you want to mix that up a little bit? Yeah. OK. Get in there. But something bad might happen if I do this. Do you know what Murphy's Law is? Uh, I've heard of it. Like something like Murphy bad Brown's happens, it could happen. Moral code? No. OK. Murphy's Law is something bad it could happen, and it'll happen. I have heard of it, but I've never known exactly what it is. Do you know Cole's Law? What's Cole's Law? <laughs> Thinly sliced cabbage. <laughs> She's in the kitchen. She doesn't even know what Cole's Law is. I'm just making sure all my asides are covered. Cole's Law. So now we're going to dredge our chicken in flour, egg, and breadcrumbs before we deep fry them. Yeah. Fun thing about food, too, is that you don't need to have professional materials to get the job done. If you don't have one of these crazy mallets, you can just, then you don't have to pay for therapy either. <laughs> what were the happiest years of your life? Honestly, I think some of the happiest years were when I first started making YouTube videos. Back when you were like 2,000 views, 3,000 people. Because there was no comparison, right? It was like a constant surprise to get success from doing something that was just genuinely fun. Not to get so off of this very deep sentimental topic, but I'm gonna put these in the deep fryer. Yeah. Pop quiz hot shot. Did you read the paperwork I sent you? No, I barely read your text messages. Okay, now you're gonna pay for ignoring me. True or false? Okay. The first waffles were communion wafers in the Middle Ages. True. You're right. <gasps> Question number two, true or false? Thomas Jefferson started a waffle craze when he brought a French waffle maker back from France in 1890. False. Yeah. Yeah. It was 1790. Yeah! That's exactly why I said false. I knew everything but the year was correct. Yeah, right? <laughs> Question number three. You ready for this one? Ready. Snoop Dogg. Heard of him? Yeah. <laughs> His favorite restaurant is Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. OK. I'm going to name three people. Who did he not bring with him as a guest to Roscoe's? A, David Beckham. B. Eminem. You're making this up as you go. <laughs> Larry King. Uh... 
chicken and waffles is okay, but a chicken omelet is like taking the mommy and the baby and stuffing them together. That's like a family tragedy. We got fried chicken, we got waffles, we got Grace Helbig, so let's see how it pans out. Snoop Dogg, who did he not bring with him as a guest to Roscoe's? Uh, I'm gonna say Eminem. You're so smart. That was, I tried to trick you and none of it worked. Next, we're gonna work on our waffle batter. We got flour, sugar, and cinnamon. Watch this. They're gonna party together. No. Yeah, I can't believe No. I'm oh, crazy, what? I'm crazy. And then we mix it. That's so wild. I would do love like a, to do something little... very simple. Go for it. Um, so that I'm involved. I'm gonna mix the wet ingredients while you mix the dry. We're gonna add two eggs to this buttermilk, okay? Oh, God. What kind of advice do you give your fans? Like, what kind of advice do they ask of you? You know, when you're a teenager into your early 20s, it's like such a transformative part of your world as becoming like a real adult that there's a lot of like damage control. <laughs> <laughs> My advice is always surround yourself with good, positive people. Okay, now we're moving on. We're mixing wet and dry ingredients together. Look at this, it's becoming a batter. We're gonna add some melted butter to this. Should we do it now? Yeah, throw it in there. Teamwork makes the dream work. We're cookers. It smells really good. Thank you. Oh, oh almost. almost. Almost, almost. I know, I saw him. you have to be patient. What's the best thing that you've ever made? I feel like this fried chicken waffle combo might get there. This doesn't count because I'm making it. We are making <laughs> it. Don't ever try and cut me out like that, all right? Okay, we're gonna brush this waffle with some melted butter. Look at this. Whoa. You give like cooking tutorials. That's a generous description yes. of what I do. I would try to make weird food. It's like girl, because my favorite combo is. Did you just call me girl, by the way? There? Did you do that? You went girl? Girl, my favorite combo. We're actually friends now. I know. Continue. Okay, like the first thing I made was macachos, which is nachos with macaroni and cheese instead of just cheese on them. And it's so stupid, but it's delicious and it destroys your gastrointestinal system. Punish you. It is punishment. <laughs> and now for a little game, by the way. What's it called? What's this game called? Yeah. It's called English Food or Band Name. You're blocking my beauty Sorry. shot. <laughs> Toad in the hole. English food. We get confirmation on that? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You're right about that. Lamb of God. Band name. Let's get tricky with this now. Chumba Wumba. Yeah, that's a band name. I listened to that in high school so much. Toad the wet sprocket. I'm just throwing words at you now. Yeah, I was like, did you have a stroke? <laughs> I'm going to say band name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Spotted dick. That's English food. Yeah, you would know that. <laughs> Angels on horseback. Band name. Nah. She is human. She got one wrong. Oh. One more question. Oh, OK. We're not done. Meatloaf. Both. Yeah. I think you did well. I take it. I don't know. You guys count it up in the comments section. Leave in the comments down below. Yeah. All right, all right. Okay, wait, wait. So wait. We buttered this waffle. We put fried chicken on top and delicious law, which had cons. Dry cranberries, apples, carrots, and we're gonna top it with some syrup. Watch this. Whoa! That's the money shot. Yeah, could you tell? Okay, here we go. Ready for your hella big chicken and waffles? You didn't even cheers me. Cheers. Look me in the eyes when you cheers me. Don't be a creep. That's not creepy. <laughs> huh? Mm. I love this one. It's pretty good. Right? Would you happily serve this to people? Of course I would. All right, let's finish these. Okay. And make 50 of them. I'm going to help you. Let's do it. OK, let's get some hands in here, please, to help Grace and I make 50 of these bad boys. On the fried, are we deep frying any others? Fry no? It. Yeah? OK, yeah. all right, I'm going to put it back down here. Here. And yeah. like this, look at this. Bowl. We're going to put the slaw there Plant. like Thank that. You. I'm going to take this. Oh my God. Harley, do better. Make it faster. Stronger. Bam, bam. I got chicken over here. Mm -hmm. Chicken. <laughs> but I want it to be a part of the moment. Didn't you say you wanted this? You didn't say you wanted this? 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, make it like a Missy Elliott music video. Whoa, whoa. Did I syrup you? No. Come and get it, boys. And girls. And girls. Oh, there you go. Your it's, the Grace, it's the Grace Hella Big Fried Chicken and Waffle. Oh. So much flavor. I mean, layers upon layers. Haha, <laughs> -ha, you just made it. Thank you. All right, talk to me. What's going on here? Hey. What do you guys think about this? It's delicious. It's got a yeah? perfect amount of crunch with a perfect amount of sweetness, man. I love this. <laughs> yeah? Are you a chicken and waffles person? Not until today. Today you are. Yeah. I was done. Kill it. Let, quick. Yeah, you did. Let me see you kill it. That last bite, kill it right now. Get it. Last bite. Mean it. No, I want to <laughs> see it. Don't you dare try and hide that. I want to see it. It's like a new thing that uh, I wouldn't have thought of. That's all her. I'm a That's new thing her. that people don't think they're going to like, but then they get to know me. You guys know Murphy's Law? <laughs> uh, no. Right. I would shake your hands, but. All good. No, that's what it's there for. Hey. Oh, look You're at that. You're too young, man. You take that bite also. <laughs> wow. Now that. There's maple syrup on there. You didn't taste it? We need some more maple syrup for her. <laughs> a lot more. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, that was a big one. That was one. a great one. I respect you, and I respect you most. <laughs> I love it. I'll buy a drink for you. Yeah. 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 I like these women. <laughs> Why is her face on the truck? I don't know. I'm asking the same question. <laughs> My job is done. Uh, all right, so I got a, a bunch of questions here collected okay. from the trustworthy internet. Ooh, OK. And I didn't vet them either. Those are my favorite kinds of questions. Yeah, let's get right into it. Ready. Is Jam Roly Poly an English food or a band name? That's not here. I'm just asking you right now on the spot. Jam Roly Poly? Yeah. English food. Is it an English food? <laughs> yeah, it is. What's the worst part about living your life online? One of the great things about social media is that it allows you to connect with people that you couldn't regularly connect with before. But then one of the scary parts is that there's so much access to numbers. And I think a lot of people attach value to that now, because you can see exactly how many people like you or right. your things, and when you associate your worst with that, it gets a little crummy sometimes. Once you put something out there, you can't take it back. I mean, I have a digital footprint of my failed relationships right. existing in video form. There's something kind of valuable and rewarding about having boundaries. You gotta be guard. I love the internet, but yeah. don't you ever turn your back on it. <laughs> your fans are so smart, by the way, with that question. They're very sweet. OK, here we go. If your dog Goose was a celebrity, who would she be? Uh, Cardi B. She's aggressive, but she's got a heart of gold. Is there a question that comes up so much that you're just like, you, you don't like it anymore? Ever since I started doing comedy, the most prevalent question I would get is, what's it like being a, a woman in comedy? And I was always kind of like bothered answering that question. I'd be like, I'll, I'll talk to you about what it's like being a person in comedy. Um, but when you consider yourself just a woman in comedy, I feel like you categorize yourself unnecessarily. I agree with that. I like this one. OK. Who would play you in the movie version of your life? Arnold Schwarzenegger. My answer, too. <laughs> I think he would play both of us. Yeah. No, I want Danny DeVito. You can have Arnold Schwarzenegger and it'll gonna... be twins. That's a I'm great into call. it. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Grace, where can they find you? Uh, I'm at Grace Helbig across all social media platforms. Keep it easy. That is very simple. Yep. Lock it down. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Make sure you follow Genius Kitchen on all social media platforms. Harley will be back here next time with another celebrity in this chair making another meal for all of you. All right, put her face on the truck. Yep. It's hers now. <laughs> it's been taken. <laughs> Subscribe to Genius Kitchen and watch more famous food trucks.